G'day, it's Rob here. Um, in this video, I'll just pass on a little trick that you can use um, if you know you're into metal work and you're thinking, oh, it'd be good to have a bit of a dabble at YouTube, see uh, see what information I can uh, put together and pass on to other people. And uh, you've got a little digital camera, but that's all you've got. You've got a little digital camera and a computer, of course, you need a PC. But you haven't got a, any way of holding the camera, you haven't got a tripod, you know, a lot of people got the camera but no tripod. And you, you can go and buy little tripods or big tripods, whatever you want. I've got both um, that I've accumulated over the years. But there is an easy way to actually mount your camera without going to any expense. And it's also uh, a good little machining exercise for you to uh, have a crack at at the same time. So what do you do? What do you use instead of a proper tripod? Use one of these. Every good machinist will have one of these. It's called a mag base. It's the magnetic base for uh, putting on your, uh, your dial indicator. And uh, it's a very simple, it's a good rigid solid unit. You can mount it on flat surfaces, on the side of stuff. You can put it on the headstock. Cross slide, tail stock, anywhere you want. You can clip it onto a ladder or a metal ladder or you know the lathe stand so if you want to say do some uh, photography and you haven't got a tripod well these are the next best thing and it's an easy thing to make something up and to mount the camera with and on these on the end here you can see you undo this and this little pin just clips out so that's the little pin that would normally hold your uh, your dial indicator or a probe or whatever you're using on it or, uh, you know whatever so what you have to do is machine up a, a little pin with a thread on it that will basically allow it to screw into the bottom of a camera and uh, also a locking nut as well and that's what I've got I use this occasionally and basically here it is it's a simple little thing and it just basically clips in and you can then that's your locking nut you can then just put your camera on top and screw the locking nut up against it and uh, you're good to go so this is just a piece of aluminium exactly that was scrap aluminium I melted down and machine that up out of as a project. So there you go, that was probably, as Kel would say, probably beer cans. So <laughs> all you do on here is just machine a little raised section on it so that it just sits up against the, the bottom of the camera. And this will take a reasonably good sized camera. These are quite strong, these mag bases. And uh, that is just quarter Whitworth, Imperial Whitworth thread, which is the standard thread they use on camera mounts. And you just make the uh, you just make the uh, the pin, whatever diameter you want to make it up to to fit in your adapter, and uh, it just clips in like that. What could be simpler? The beauty of it, of course, is that you can uh, mount it on anything, and you can pivot it the arm and move it up and down and it gives you a lot of control uh, so that uh, you know you can position the, the, the um, camera quite accurately and you can even mount on the cross light and have the camera traveling with the cross light which you can't do with a with a proper with a normal regular tripod so I'll put my little camera on there and just show you what it looks like right well this is my old uh, Canon A480 that I originally started doing YouTube videos with it's only VGA and uh, it did the job for years and years because <laughs> I mean this was never ever going to be a YouTube channel I never intended this to be a, a full-on channel because I just did these videos just to back up my web pages so there you are, as you can see the camera mounts on quite nicely and you can just move it around um, pivot it you know you can do whatever you want with it and uh, and it's quite rigid, you know, quite solid. So uh, there you go, folks. If you haven't got a 
if you haven't got a, uh, a proper tri tripod and you just want to do a bit of photography and get by, that's all you have to do is just make up a simple little mount like that. This light is a locking nut. By, do, by putting that on there, you can just put the, screw the camera on and then you just lock it up and that just stops it from turning. Similar setup to what they have on a regular tripod. And of course, the pin is just a simple thing, easy, easy to make and you're in business. So there you go. Quick and easy um, a way to get into YouTube. Um, all you need is your, is your little camera and you're good to go. So there you go, folks. Short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Got some um, useful hints out of it. See you next time. Cheers.